We're literally experimenting on children. Maybe that's why Sweden and Finland have stopped giving puberty blockers to kids. We do know it hinders the development of bone density, which is kind of important if you like having a skeleton. <laughs> Fertility and the ability to have an orgasm seem also to be affected. This isn't just a lifestyle decision, it's medical. Weighing trade-offs is not bigotry. These are not the only countries identifying these problems and coming to this conclusion. But when they do, all roads point against medical transition and blind affirmation of your child's gender identity. All that being said, the studies, the rates of suicide and mental illness, the influence of social media, the different countries who are taking different routes, these stories of detransitioners, can we really in good conscience and good faith say that blind affirmation of gender identity and medical transitioning for children is the compassionate route to take here?